2012 BMW Z4 convertible. It's the two litre petrol injection S drive model, this one with the metal hard top folding roof. Lovely colours. Vendor informs us those wheels were brand new this year, earlier this year. Just over 70,000 on the clock. Nice looking car. Body width wise, we're going to start off at the bonnet. Big old bonnet on these, all nice and tidy and straight across the bonnet. No issues with the paint, all nice and factory. Few little stone chips as you come down the lower end of the bonnet here. Across the front edge, you can see those the cameras picking up the little sort of white spots. As you come down on the headlights, lovely and clear. The bumper corners are all unmarked. Nice and straight across the front, that lower valance as well. A few little stone chips, but that's all we need to complain about on that. Headlights are lovely and clear, the grills are all good. A few little stone chips above the badge as well there. All the grills are intact, there's no bits missing. You can see how nice and straight that is. As you come round the right hand side on the wheel arch again, lovely and tidy. The problem is with a car like this, it does make for a bit of a boring video. So there's nothing really wrong with it. Nothing to really point out. Like I say, new wheels and tyres this year. Nice with the grey on the black. Nice and straight across the bottom of the sill cover. No major scuffs, scrapes, stings or dents there. As you come up around this big massive panel here, all nice and straight. All the lenses are good, indicators nice and tidy. A little bit of a stone chip here. A few stone chips on the wing mirror. The roof itself, which is a metal folding hard top, is all lovely, clean and tidy. No problems with that. A few little light surface scratches here and there where it's been washed. It is 10 year old. And a few little marks on the leading edge, the rear edge of the door on the driver's side. As we come round the rear arch, a few more little stone chips, but no corrosion, no rust, no parking things in there. Lovely and straight. It's got some nice lines to it, this car. As you come round the rear bumper again, right hand side is scuff free no problems with that the light lenses are lovely and clear as are the reflectors and the same with the high level high level brake light the bootlet itself again is all nice and tidy and nice and clean like i say a few little little bit of a bird poo mark there and a few little light surface scratches in it rear bump itself all in all is in nice condition no problems with that there as we work our way around on the left hand side again all lovely and straight clean and tidy wheels are unmarked nice and clean on the bumper corners again as we come down the passenger side again lovely and straight on that door you can see how straight it is on both sides no issues with that no major scratching around the handles wing wearer caps are all good as well as you come down the front edge of the door on this panel here it's not really a wing, it's sort of a little front quarter panel. Again, nice and tidy and clean around the barges, around the indicators. A few little stone chips here and there on this one, but that's all really to whinge about. A few little stone chips, nice and clean and tidy. It is a modern car in our eyes, so it's ready to be used. Let's like say it's a 12 plate, this one. Two litre manual petrol on the six speed gearbox. Door cards are lovely and tidy. The seat itself has shown a little bit of wear to the bolster, the insert's all nice and straight. A little bit of wear to the bolster, the insert's nice and straight. The lower swab is all clean and tidy. The dashboard itself with this sort of aluminium check is all nice and straight across the dashboard. All nice and tidy across the top there. The dials are all easy and clear to read. It's got like your phone systems, aircon, all that sort of stuff electronic handbrake on this one as well and you've got a sport and comfort mode on there as we go into the boot all nice and tidy in the boot you can see you've got your load cover there which you have to have to have the roof down but all nice and straight and complete in the boot left hand side again nice and clean and tidy in there james is going to come and start it up in a minute and we'll do the roof the seat itself is showing no real wear on the bolster. A little bit on the back, but all nice and tidy. The carpet sets lovely and clean. There's nothing to see behind you. You've got a little cubby box, but that is all to see there. All lovely and straight and tidy in there. What a nice place to be, especially the value of money this one is. Into the engine bay now, two litre petrol. Twin turbo petrol, I apologise. It's a twin turbo, two litre petrol. It's a bit modern for me, this one. Wants a little bit of a clean in there, but it is what it is. In that respect, it's not a show vehicle. I don't take these to the car shows and open the bonnet, I would say. But like I say, two litre twin turbo petrol, that one. Expect James to fire it off. 
checking over there. Never heard one of these before, so don't know what they're supposed to sound like, but it's nice and happy there, no problems with that at all. Let James give me a little bit of a rev. James, if we put the roof down, if it worked out how to do it, you got it there, bro. Here we go. Like I say, it's that metal folding. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? You see how that goes on there? Didn't expect it to do that. Working as it should. No issues with that there. I want that to go back up. That's such a nice movement. That's a weird thing to get excited about. The deck lid's all nice and tidy across there. The rollover bars are all done as well. Windows going up as they should. What's the mileage on that, James? 71,370. 71,370. The only water night we've got in there is the fuel light. And back up again, please, James, on that. Watch the movement on this again. No hesitation at all from that. Nice and smooth. So the deck closes back down. There you go, and there you have it. The 2012 BMW Z4 2 litre petrol, twin turbo petrol, manual six speed gearbox with the metal folding roof.